Hey everybody, welcome back to the TSF Garages. I am TSF, your host. Today we're working on the grill on the uh, the Jeep Expedition. Uh, some things that I learned about it um, that uh, the grill is not uh, some kind of plastic coated thing or some some chrome uh, coated paint or anything like that. It's it's actual metal. So let's dig into it. So okay, I learned a lot about the bumper in my research trying to uh, figure out how to remove the chrome to go all black on this. So on the 99 uh, Laredo, Grand, Grand Cherokee Laredo, the bumper comes attached to, or I'm sorry, the grill comes attached to the, uh, it comes attached to the bumper. And then uh, you can detach it, of course, and then there's two pieces to it. This part, so there's, it's actually three pieces. There's like a frame that this is uh, uh, screwed onto. Then there's this inner part here. And then there's the outer chrome portion. Now the chrome portion, after watching some YouTube videos, I, th I thought maybe uh, this was just some kind of paint, but uh, it was flaked. Here, these wrinkle spots show where water had like gotten in there somehow underneath the chrome, but uh, I tried a couple things based off some YouTube videos I saw. I grabbed 10 gallons of uh, Super Clean here and tried to, uh, I saw a video where this guy had some Hot Wheels cars or something and he dissolved the chrome on some Hot Wheels cars just by uh, agitating it in this solution. Well, it isn't paint, that's the thing. This is, uh, if you can see this here, this is actual, uh, it actually seems to be dipped in uh, a chrome type of uh, tin foil thing. So what I've done is I have uh, grabbed like one of those uh, window razor type blades and I've been scraping this off ever so carefully. I don't want to damage the plastic underneath, but I've been using the blade to kind of uh, coax the foil off of the uh, off of the, the grill here, and it works to some some degree. But uh, it is metal. It's not. Uh, it's not a plastic uh, material that the plastic bumper itself underneath is made out of. It's. It's. Uh, it's more dense than tin foil. You can hear it here. It's a metallic-based dip somehow. However, they did it. So what I'm doing is I'm just removing the chrome from the front and the sides. I don't really care about the back. I'm not gonna mess with that. But my intent is once I get the chrome off, get this primed up and then go black with it, then reattach it to the, the Cherokee. Okay, as I get close to the end here, I wanna just illustrate something really quick. Um, you, if you're gonna use a razor or a scraper, you don't want to, uh, I mean, you don't wanna scrape your way across it. The idea is that you're giving yourself, you're kinda of just like prying up, prying up on the ledge to give you uh, some kind of uh, place where you can grab it, grab the foil and peel it away. So you're giving, you're just prying up on the on the lip of it to give you a, a handhold, so you can do it. Uh, peel peel this thing away uh, manually. It's not glued on per se. Um, but you know, in order to avoid ex a lot of sanding when you're done with this, you know, you don't want to be cutting the plastic underneath. So it's not a consistent, you know, scrape along the, the sides or along the plastic material and leave marks all over it. Um, it's just, you know, pry it up enough where you can get a handhold 
and you could just peel away the uh, material. So once I get the rest of this chrome off, then we'll try and wash this off a little bit, dry it up, get some primer, and then get some, uh, some flat black and do it up. Like it came right out of the factory. Okay, so now with the uh, bumper removed again, we're gonna take the, uh, the insert, the grill insert, and you can see on the bottom it's got these, I don't know, little things. Uh, retainers for a better word. Anyway, these little slots right here, these little guides, I fit in these holes here. There's a big one here for the two, and then there's a single one in here, single one in there. Same here, two, and then one more over there. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of like assemble this here before I put it back on. So I make sure that these things are squeezed enough to fit in between here. And make sure that these line up with the center brackets here. And the same here, and then the same at the end. And also, uh, these holes here, one, two, three, four, should fit uh, all together. And then what will happen is, these guys that we've put in here, right, will get locked. We'll get locked in place. If we can look at the engine here, the front of the... Uh, truck here. Alright, so the front of the truck and those little guides are going to get squashed along these rails here. All right? As the screws get put in on the, uh, the grill mount. 